Britain's greatest river, the Thames. Having meandered its way across the floodplains of the Essex marshes, it widens out into a broad estuary as it nears the North Sea. These lands were attractive areas for early settlers, and traces of Neolithic and early Celtic settlements have been found. But it wasn't until Britain, with its disparate tribes and warring groups, was brought under the domination of one single empire nearly 2,000 years ago that the strategic advantage of an area of the Thames some 40 miles from the mouth of the river was realised. Here, a great city was established that has flourished through plague and fire, through civil war and turbulent social change. It's become a centre of government and monarchy, a place of artistic excellence, a world trading power, a centre of empire. Its rich cultural mix today makes it one of the largest and most visited cities in the world. And one of its most famous sons, Samuel Johnson, was of the opinion that anyone who was tired of it was tired of life itself. It is London. The great empire which finally chose this site on the Thames to set up camp and establish its administrative centre was of course the Roman Empire, which finally conquered Britain in 40 AD and stayed here for four centuries. This section of wall is one of the most visible remains of Roman London, or Londinium as they called it. And although the upper sections were added in the Middle Ages, the lower part built of Kentish ragstone with courses of red brick is original. 